On their ground, they give absolutely everything, making their own very individual mark. He's visually impaired and has 20% sight in one eye. Marian Balas from Slovakia. And as a child, she lost both hands. Katarzyna Rogiewicz from Poland. Both love and live for biathlon and cross-country skiing, a passion that's both an elixir of life and a great challenge. Lots of things are more difficult, of course, especially in winter, when my arms are hidden in my jacket. That makes it harder for me to function, let's say, normally. And I have to automatically look for ways to get through situations that for anyone with two hands would naturally be very easy. I therefore used to develop my own patent tricks to solve problems like how do I tie my laces? Or how do I comb my hair? Or how do I write my diary? Dexterity in everyday life. Katarzyna holds things like pens by using an armband, a learning process that began early in life. I grew up in normal surroundings, not in any special facility for children with disabilities. And I think that made me much stronger and helped me get on. I used to do everything that other children did. To be honest, this independence over a long period of time gave me a better chance to develop as a person. She rigorously pursued her passion and with great success. Torino 2006. With two gold medals in cross-country skiing at the Paralympic Games, Katarzyna was at the high point of her sporting career to date. Preparations for the next Games in Vancouver, Canada are now underway. The final competition beforehand the World Cup in Oberried, Germany. The 32-year-old trains tirelessly with her coach Stanislav Schlonsack. After numerous discussions, it was he who introduced her to biathlon. He's been getting her air rifle ready for years, previously firing it for her too. Since 2007, a specially made rifle has enabled her to load and fire by herself, and she fondly recalls her first independent shot. That gave me a whole new impetus. For me, it was a new way of looking at the world, at life and its problems. And I realized that even if something seems unattainable, over time we can adapt to it. And that's the way it is with all of sport. It repeats itself. You learn to fight and to be tough. In fact, you learn to be yourself. In contrast to Kate, when he's shooting, Marian Balas relies on his hearing. The higher the pitch, the closer to the bull. Mistakes, and even defeats, he says, make you stronger. You've simply got to be strong and not panic. You need to have nice, qualified people around you who will give you mental support. Because it's very stressful for any sportsman who trains all year long and then comes to the competition and things don't go as well as he'd envisaged. And whenever things don't go well, the 34-year-old concentrates on his next target. That, after all, is the only way to achieve success as at his first Paralympic Games in Salt Lake City in 2002. Still competing at that time with his guide, he fought his way to the silver medal in biathlon. Since autumn 2008, he's been trying it solo, and he's well aware that the former partnership is the foundation on which he's now building. The guide's work is very important, especially at the beginning. For a visually impaired athlete, the guide is effectively his eyes. He gives the athlete confidence and helps him to get his bearings on the circuit. It's just like with children. Parents look after their kids, teach them various things and raise them, and when they're grown up and independent, then they're able to stand on their own two feet. Independent, passionate and ambitious. Characteristics that both Kate and Marion personify and that will also drive them on at their next great competition, the Vancouver 2010 Paralympic Winter Games.